The Henry Ford Museum and Greenfield Village are located at Dearborn, Michigan. Suspended in the impressive reception area is a 50-year-old replica of the spirit of St. Louis. This was used in the film about Charles Lindbergh and was presented to the museum in 1956 by actor James Stewart. Amongst the vast collection in the museum is this quadricycle, Henry Ford's first car, built in a shed behind the house he was renting in Detroit. Visitors can sit behind the wheel of this 1917 Model T, the car that made Henry Ford famous. Over 15 million were produced between 1908 and 1927. Ford was born and raised in this modest farmhouse, now relocated to the adjacent Greenfield Village complex. Henry was the eldest of six children and lived here until he was 16, leaving to become a machinist in nearby Detroit. The rest, as they say, is history. More than 80 other historic structures have been brought to this 81-acre site, including the Wright Brothers Cycle Shop from Dayton, Ohio. Orville and Wilbur built all of the components for their first gliders and airplanes in this workshop at the back of the cycle shop. A visit to the family home helps to paint a portrait of the brothers' background. They were from a very loving, stable family. I, you may have heard me say that their father eventually became a bishop in the United Brethren Church. When he bought this house, he was just a young minister, and he had a, a growing family. Uh, so the house was modest then. It's been added on to by the Wright brothers and uh, oh, enhanced in many ways. That wonderful front porch was built by the Wright brothers before they even attempted to buy, build a glider or um, an airplane. Thomas Edison's Menlo Park Laboratory can also be visited. Here, many famous inventions, including the phonograph, were created. He would also work on his idea for the incandescent light bulb, and in particular, the filament to his bulb. Out of all the thousands of things that Edison tests, the first successful filament ends up being ordinary cotton thread. Cotton sewing thread, when it was carbonized, was the first successful filament. We have all benefited from the heritage left to us by these American pioneers and inventors. But let's leave the museum and village with a few of the other sights and sounds on display here.